just heading out to pick up Terence and the passive infrared camera systems that we laid out at our new investigation site for the experiment of determination of threat of a thylacine. You might notice that uh, there's a conspicuous absence and that's the Squatch, he's MIA. He's probably out uh, walking the power line or throwing rocks at Moneymaker or something like that, but he's not here. So this is going to be a solo mission for the Hobbit. So some of this will be shot point of view on the GoPro. Once I've got the cameras, I can then meet up with uh, the guys this afternoon and we can uh, analyze the data. Should be interesting. In a previous episode of TRU, the boys started thinking outside the box. They decided to set up an experiment to determine whether the thylacine silhouette or shape was determined as a threat by prey animals. So they took Terence, their decoy, out in the bush and set him up and surrounded him and a control station with passive infrared camera systems. They used carrot as a bait to try and bring in the prey animals and they wanted to see whether they were frightened of the silhouette or not. In this episode, they get together and analyse the results. Should be exciting. Just a quick sprint in to grab Terence the decoy and the infrared camera systems that we laid out. First thing was that uh, everything was still there, everything was in good condition, nothing to suggest it had been uh, fiddled with by anyone or anything, which is a positive. It's been fairly wet this week, so the investigation site was pretty slushy. Uh, wasn't a huge amount of sign of animal activity but the one thing that was pretty awesome was that both sets of baits were gone. So it be really interesting to look at these cards and look at the data. Just headed out now to go and catch up with uh, Woz. And then later on this afternoon, this evening, Bill. And we can analyse it and we can come to our conclusions. Looking forward to it. So Chris went out and picked up the memory cards for our new investigation site, so we're going to grab them out of the cameras now, throw them on the laptop and see what we've caught. If Chris could just avoid breaking our cameras. Can you open one of those little hobbit fingers? I think he's struggling. Yeah. And uh, where do we have the, uh, on the side, left hand side? In the card slot. That's right. Three IT, I, man. Three, three IT degrees, yeah. correctly identified for the slot. Okay. Still a setup shot. Another setup shot. Let's have a look at this one here. Interestingly, gentlemen, the baits were gone. Oh, good. From both the decoy and the control. So that might be moving branches, maybe? Yeah. Raven. It's been unusually cautious for what is usually it a fairly bold bull. Yeah, he yeah. was. He was looking very nervous, wasn't he? Yeah. Just check that one, see if the carrots are there. Yeah, still there. A lot of wind movement. Someone's cut his head off though. Yeah, that raven was very cautious, yeah. wasn't he? Or was it a caramel? I didn't quite no, see. Yeah, raven. Yeah. Yeah, raven, yeah. There's another raven shot. Let's check to this one. Just uh, 247. Okay, so they're a couple of days apart. So. 
two days apart and it still hasn't broken yeah, the it, look, at, look at it, it's really... Yeah, you know, and it looks like it's, it's, its head is looking at the head of the animal too. It is, it's really checking it out. Mm. It's got that classic animal side on stance where it's making itself look bigger. It's been very cautious. Uh, I'd say it's also looking like it wants to fly away at any moment. There's like one carrot left now. Well, that's interesting because the carrots have disappeared. In between these two shots. So we've got another camera at the... Look at that raven here. Yeah. Yeah. See the carrots? There's only one carrot left there. Let's go for it. <laughs> Cautious. This is the same one. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at it. It's oh, it's jumping back too. It's too. Very nervous. It's very nervous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. There's a bit of a branch in the corner. Oh, I saw something go from left to right. It's like a bird, maybe. See that? Like something was thrown across it almost. A bird flying by, maybe. Sasquatch. Sasquatch throwing. Yeah, it's obviously yeah. Sasquatch is throwing sticks. That would have been my first impression, too. Interesting. Oh. Devil. Tasmanian devil. Tessie devil. Oh, lovely. See with the light that's put off that um, the cinema IR illuminators would be awesome. Yeah. Tazzy Dill. Looks like a beamer. So I wonder why the devils are hanging around that spot. Look at carrots. Ah, uh, I mean it's a perfect hunting area for them. Yeah, they're just wandering around. We did walk down a fairly major game trail to get there. I suppose so, yeah. That's just just wandering about. So something had to have created that game trail. Oh, it's at a uh, paddy mill, maybe? I can't see anything actually. Just have a look. Here, it's a fly shot. Oh, yeah. Just oh, it moved, actually moved a little bit more like a yeah, bandicoot or something. Yeah, it's Bandicoot. Bandicoot? Yeah. Southern Brown. Sorry, yeah. Southern Brown Bandicoot. There you go. Wow. Okay. So, first thing. We got a species that we've never caught on camera before with yep. a bandicoot. Yeah, that was no. The thing is, next near th near Terence, all we got was a really nervous raven, mm. and near the other one, we got devils, bandicoots, ravens. Yep. So only, only forty meters or so apart, weren't they? Yep. Yeah. Without any visual between yep. the two sites. So it's yeah. I think this is worth doing this again. Mm. Yeah, it needs to be repeated. You, you, you can't draw a conclusion on just that. But if you're forced into a conclusion... I disagree, you can't draw a conclusion on that. <laughs> when are we going to get to argue? Alright, look, if you're forced into drawing a conclusion on that, you'd have to say those animals were nervous of Terence. That, that raven appeared to be nervous, but... I agree, you can't draw a conclusion on it, but because it was Because we really need more. 
But yeah. it was interesting. We didn't see any devils or no, we saw anything else on near Terence. No. So prima facie, you could say that nervous prey species potentially um, in the in the raven. No, so ravens are very cheeky things, but they are very wary as well. That's how they stay alive. Um, I could visualise a raven coming in after a thylacine kill. Yeah. I could probably be the first animal in. But the thylacine would be well and truly gone, you'd think. Uh, Not necessarily. I've seen them no. eating right next to devils. Yeah. Quolls come in while devils are feeding. Eastern yeah. quolls come in while devils are feeding. Well, I guess the other question is, is if it is nervous, why thing, is it nervous? The thing is, the, the raven would probably be one of the most gamest. For yeah. sure. Yeah, they, they're really ballsy, so, you know, they, they, they would sort of come in close, but... So if you were going to call it on two or three shots, to answer your question was, is it nervous? I would say yes. Why does it have a genetic memory that the thylacine's a threat? Like, it's a bumping, great, big silhouette. Yep of an animal that is large and predatory. Well, of course, uh, you could uh, say that uh, the reason it's nervous is because it's uh, seen a live one. You could <laughs> say that. I think this, I think what I get from this though, is I think it's worth experimenting further. I think it's a cracker of an experiment. Yeah. The first thing that we've learnt is that you've got to put the camera where there's no branch in front of it. Yeah, yeah okay. I believe you set that one up. No, I set up. So we had no mammals around Terence? No. We only had an opportunistic bird that's got awesome eyesight. Theory suggests it can even count. It's that intelligent. Yeah. And even it, on the surface, appeared to be cautious. And prepared to, uh, to fly away at any moment as well. Yep. I've, I've seen that behaviour in ravens when we fed a Tasmanian devil they act like that as they're walking in to try and steal a bit of meat off a devil I've seen that sort of that stance, the way they act that's how they approach a predator that's got yep. food Well, um, so I yeah. think conclusion one we need to conduct this again We need to, yeah Conclusion I know. two can't conclude but it's we really need, interesting We need more data we need to have a look at, you know, we need to probably do this a few times. Yeah. To, uh, it was just really interesting that at the other camera we got devils, we got mm. bandicoot, like, and we got ravens. Yeah. We've got another predator, we've got a prey species. Interesting. Okay, let's go do some more then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go back uh, out there and put some more cameras out. You guys can drive this time. <laughs>